Oh yeah, that's right. We are back. Good morning, good evening, wherever, whatever time zone you're in. We truly appreciate your ear. Today currently is November 17th. We just take a hike day, but don't take a hike from this podcast because it is your favorite podcast. Also, it's peanut butter month. Throw it in your mouth, not in them balls. Leave them dogs alone. Don't molest your dogs. That's right. Leave them alone. (laughs) You're tuned in to the one and only Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast coming out of Casper, Wyoming. Man, we got some pretty pretty good topics. I got some things jotted down. We, we're going to go over some of those current events, this, that, the other thing. Shoot, it don't matter. We appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to quit. I'm your host, Stevie V, <laughs> sitting next to me. Josh, and over here is King Dipshit. Jake. Heck yeah. Fuck yeah. Heck yeah. Here we are. Look where we go. I got it, bro. Oh, is there one over there? How's everybody's week been? Uh, oh, I got one. Wonderful. I want to start it off by saying congratulations to Mabry Vanderhaden for all of her first place. Um, what do you call those? Ribbons? Medals? No, medals, yeah, dude. Medals. Those are medals. Medals, bro. She's out here earning that iron, dude. Man. Yeah. True champion amongst amongst you in this household. I, uh, I mean, you're no stranger to that. <laughs> you're no stranger to trophies. <laughs> oh, speaking right? of trophies, what do you guys think of this wonderful episode art? I love it. The it's thrift badass. store Jesus. <laughs> Couldn't have ended up better. <laughs> right? Couldn't have ended up in a better home. Love it. You know, it. you know, I knew there was going to be a little bit of, you know, someone was going to say something type thing. Yeah. And uh, it was on TikTok. There, it was mostly like, Jesus doesn't wear hats. No. Oh. <laughs> you shouldn't do that to Jesus. Or it was something like right. that. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, me and Jesus, we have our own special relationship. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's a yard pooper. Yeah. Big whoop, dude. Yeah. yeah. Big whoop. Whatever. You know, he thinks it's funny. I think yeah. it's funny. <laughs> dude, if you think God or Jesus didn't have a sense of humor, mm-hmm. go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Too shade of that. We They're got- like, they didn't even have yards in the Middle East. Well, they also didn't have white people in the Middle East. So there's <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, I don't like what you said about Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Forgive me then. Yeah. Uh, Hello. You can that go was ahead. way fucking off. Dog. It was. <laughs> that was. That was pretty good. I was. Well, like, that was a foot and a half it, off. I, I was going to do it like this, but I didn't want like the. Yeah. Yeah. The foam. Spray. You mm-hmm. know, to get the all The leakage. Over. The leakage. Of our no, I get wonderful the, studio equipment. Yeah, I get the technique, but it was still terrible. I love you as yeah. a friend, but it was god awful, horrible, horrible form. It was I've like- been to the Bozo show before, dude. I didn't get picked for Bozo buckets, but I saw it live, uncut. Okay, not the technique you want to go with. Yeah. Speaking of shitty basketball players, did you guys see the thing with LeBron James? I no. What's LeBron? What's LeBron James up to? Um. Apparently, there is a leaked uh picture or video. Mm-hmm. Um. Of him in a room with P. Diddy and uh, doing, um, oh yeah, ungodly isn't, acts, isn't throwing worth, stuff in buckets. Isn't didn't P. Diddy kiss him on the neck like is he like he's his bitch? I, ooh, <clears throat> thought I saw a video of that. E, yeah, dude. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> and there was oh, not, gross. That, that's unchristian. Dude, this is gonna even go. imagining it. It's not a good <laughs> picture. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, a. <laughs> yeah. So there's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's this uh, show that I I got to give a uh, shout out to the No Jumpers uh, podcast. Uh, so one of the theories that I heard on there, um, if you have your hair dyed pink, then you're going through some shit. Oh, and oh. a lot of the people that were with P Diddy, well, look had, at <laughs> guess what? Guess what? Singer not only had her hair dyed pink, but. 
It's her fucking name. Yeah, paint. And she looks like a dude. What? Oh, man, I didn't see LeBron with pink hair. Maybe he's going to well, switch it up now. It's a lot harder to dye black <laughs> hair pink than you'd think. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, sick ass rhyme. Uh, speaking Hell of shout yeah. outs, uh, I got to give a shout out to Dwayne Watson. Um, check out his music, Outlaw Country Singer from Canada. Oh, he's bad to the bone. He was on the show last year. Uh, we're going to get him on again one of these times. Cooper Mack said that she would like to come on and talk about astrology. That'd be an interesting one. Uh, of course, shout out to Middle of the Road Podcast. Uh, another wonderful podcast you need to throw in your ear off the cuff with Cody Stokestead and Jed Coburness. I switched them up, but psh, I got I got love for you, fellas. 10 for 10. We can't forget about them. Mobile on-site oil. Trailer Park Baker. Two bulls tattoo. And you can't forget about Vanderhagen Design. You That's right. Click that link down below. Show some love, baby. Show some love. Christmas times. Christmas times coming up. That's true. And uh, I tell you what, that tombstone piece that I did. Yeah. I got to crack out a couple more of those. Good looking piece. When when you first uh, brought up Western paintings that you were going to do, mm-hmm. I was really hoping you were going to bust out a, a Blazing Saddles one. Mm. One of my favorite movies of all time. But that would be cool. The Tombstone one was badass. Hell yeah. I, it, it was kind of, I guess it was ultimately better than what I thought. Because if you can guess it, then that ain't <laughs> that cool. <laughs> I did get a couple. Uh, that was one of them. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Dagan. He said Django. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Can't forget about Young Guns. Two young bowls. Guns. He, yeah. I mean, lots of. I'm. I'm. I got to do a couple more of the Tombstone ones. Ooh, here was something else I wanted to get off my chest. Get it off your chest. Uh, say words, son. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, got to give a shout out to him, Rodriguez. Uh, that man has. So many of my paintings, yeah, it's mind blowing. Uh, so much support. I pre- I love you, man. Well, also uh, Stevie Stevie V Art <laughs> Vanderheim Design Art is kind of like a fucking Pringle, dude. Yeah, <laughs> once you pop, you can't stop. Yeah, you got to get. I mean, to right. make any room complete, you don't just buy one. Yeah, you got to buy four for sure. Well, so or ten or that ten is maybe even twenty. That is one of one, which every single piece is one of one i don't have prints of anything and when people kept hitting me up i'm like man i i seriously don't want to make another tombstone one because right. you know yeah, yeah but dude. even though when i do it's going to be a different piece yeah yeah so lee hopefully if you're listening to this man <laughs> <laughs> everyone has one of one that's right. That's all I got to say. It's just like your old buddy Walt Disney. You think he just drew Mickey Mouse one time? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tattoo. You got one of ones. Yeah. Yep. I mean. If you were going to get a, another tattoo, what kind of tattoo would you get? I. And where at? I think I would redo my mom. Heart, flip it the other way around or put it somewhere where it don't look like it's getting burnt by my new tattoo. Sure. <laughs> um, and uh, I would also do something for my dad, something small. I wouldn't put my dad, uh, like dad, well, maybe I would do dad and heart, just like, like mom D-A-D? and Like D-A-D? Yeah. <laughs> do, you think like your, do you think your dad would, do you think if you showed your dad, he'd be like, Fag. <laughs> I think he would laugh about it. <laughs> like, what are you gay, dude? I didn't know I had fucking that many daughters. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm down though. I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do fucking mom in the heart, like classic style. Hell yeah! And yeah. then I'll do dad in the heart. Yeah, I think I might make it look a little different. Yeah, know? I guess I'll figure it out. I mean, if that's what you want to do with your life. That's fine. Hey. What would Maybe you I'll just make it look like the well, head of a penis, and it'll say "dad." In the that head makes of more the penis. sense. That makes more sense. It kind a of rod, looks like a heart, just a fucking veiny. No, rod. I mean like looking. Oh, like you're looking down the barrel like of looking one. Down the barrel of the head <laughs> of a penis <laughs> kind of looks like a heart. Dude. 
<laughs> that is funny. It says dad. A rounded tip heart. <laughs> yeah. 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 That way people can't really call you out. Okay, are you going to do little, like, are you going to do like. What's that little black are dot you like, dad? No, you got to do like, so the bottom of the heart, you know, or the, I guess what's traditionally <laughs> yeah. the top of the heart, you know, the round. Yeah, it's parts. upside down kind yeah, of. Yeah, but then you do like two little sliver moon pieces, right? <laughs> that are peach colored and then like just little lines off of them. Like, yeah, like yeah. a ball hair. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, and then if, if somebody, you right. know. That's more Christian ask you, you're like, oh, it's for my he was balding when Right. Exactly. <laughs> what no, about this veins? Is a symbolization of how I was Well, if brought... you're looking down the barrel, dude. <laughs> this is a symbolization of how I was brought Especially to if Earth. his dad had a bulky head on him. <laughs> <laughs> Spit take. <laughs> if his dad had a bulbous head Fuck. on him, dude. Yeah. You ain't gonna see no right. veins if you're looking down the not if you're looking right. down the barrel. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I mean. Looking right down the barrel, right so down you, the barrel, you, see, dude. you don't really see anything. Except you're just, for yeah, just like your head. And there's what uh, that, it symbolizes how I was brought here. That's D-A-D-Y. true. That's Why true. It says dad with like a little teardrop <laughs> coming out of the middle of the heart thing. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. What is that little dot? Because I'm wounded. Why is that yeah. dot crying? Copperhead Why is there road. One yeah, it's it's copperhead road. <laughs> <laughs> Love Gun by it's, Kiss. Uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> it's because I like Love that one band. Gun. One Eye Crying. That's my favorite <laughs> band. <laughs> what, what would you get? Well, I'm a little bit at a loss because I my plan was, before all the P. Diddy shit came out, mm. I was going to get BBL tattooed on my face. Yeah. Bad Boys for Life, you know. Yeah. <laughs> for this crew around here. But I can't do that. You were east side? You were east side? Uh, no, I'm just a bad boy, or dude. east coast, I mean. I'm a bad, bad boy bad who doesn't boy like to make pee-pee life. in the potty. <laughs> I get it. I've said bad it before, boy. and I'll say it again. I'm a bad, it. bad boy who doesn't like to make pee-pee in the potty. Nowadays, uh, I don't know what I'd get, honestly. Because tattoos are for sinners, and obviously I'm not one. Hmm. <laughs> Is it? Okay, let's. Can we be yeah. honest? Can we be honest about something? Let's be honest. Let's be real, like, real. Let's be. Let's be we, real, real, son. We we all be have. Real. We all have tattoos. You know what I mean. And then, like after, mm. I'm a, a born, while. I'm a born again. You're like, man. I wonder if I should get that covered up. Mm. Or are tattoos even like cool to get? anymore no everybody made them cool tattoos are stupid dude right but mine are cool (laughs) to me yeah yeah to you dude that's what i'm saying yeah my tattoos are trash to everybody i hate them i'm still gonna get tattoos i have ones that obviously you guys know that are fucking retarded I have a vagina smoking a cigarette tattoo on my arm. That dude. one's cool. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Well, no, I mean like the one on my leg. Mm-hmm. A freaking tribal thing that I drew when I was 16. That I had some guy tattoo on me after two and a half gallons of fucking sea- of wild turkey. It didn't turn out so good. Do yeah, I, but it's on your knees and your knees are trash. So it kind of re- makes sense. The tattoo's <laughs> trashed. Your knees are trashed. It goes hand what, in hand, I, brother. I, I, my point is, is like, <laughs> yeah, I regret having that. Most of my shit I don't. But like that one, yeah, fuck yeah, I regret that shit. You should sure. get a tattoo that says no regets. My fucking yeah. <laughs> uh, tribal tattoo that's on my shoulder is the very first tattoo I ever got from Bob. Yeah, I regret Bob Bobby that B, one. baby. I regret that one. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, right. it, it's cool. It, it I mean, it it's a memory. Is not it's cool. a memory. Who is right, it? Exactly. Uh, I got it from Bob. There was a poet. I it's think fucking that, on. Wasn't there. it a poet? I don't remember who said it. He said, "Show me a man with a tattoo, and I'll I'll show you a man with a story." Right. So yeah. right. Exactly. Two tears in a bucket, motherfucker. Right. The tattoo itself, I don't like. The fact that I got it is still cool. Yeah. Sure. I yeah. I'm on the same way wavelength with you on that. So Ross did this six 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 one. Mm-hmm. It's badass. Right. I like, I can't get it covered up because that's like when he was, you know, his apprentice stuff and everything. But 
Man, I think that's one that I would. I don't. You don't know. have to cover it up, dude. Just change it to an eight eight eight, or like <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's his artwork. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's yeah, but like, it's also fun. just numbers. Touche. You know what I mean? Yeah, very true. Uh, I Thank have, you. I have Thank a cover up tattoo. Now I feel bad. I have a cover up <laughs> tattoo. I have a tattoo that covers up something, and, uh, you know. And then on top of it, I also remember the tattoo on my ankle. Remember the tattoo on my ankle? Yeah. I just had letters added to that, so it didn't seem so bad. Touche. Yeah. Dude, I got the gayest tattoos <laughs> See, covered up. Or the gayest one, which is on my writ, because I have this. Look, Josh, read that out loud, please. Uh, please? Please. <laughs> you know what was on the other wrist? Do me. Oh. No, I said it was gay. Gayer than fuck, dude. <laughs> That's what it said, gayer than No, it said <laughs> save me. Please, gayer than fuck. It ah. said save me. Gotcha. Oh. On my wrist, dog. Got him when I was 18 years old. Mm. Dumb shit. Got it covered up. You and were I think it, emotional. I think it's also That's awesome that I just have please tattooed on my... Oh, <laughs> yeah. On my... It was just... Like, you were just... Because I am a polite guy. I get it. Yeah, my brain wasn't fully developed. I mean, it's... <laughs> my mom drank a little bit too much, but... <laughs> when she was pregnant with me, but, you know... <laughs> It didn't 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 they all? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, with us three, yeah, clearly. I guess I should get this German Brotherhood one covered up at some point. You did done time though, but I guess the significance behind it. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like my my flea circus, I fucking love it. I will never cover it up. I might have somebody like put some sky behind it and add some grass and like make it. Look like it's in a picture frame or something, but I'm oh, never going to cover it up. Don't cover it up. Because uh, that's proof that your brain was always weird, even before the accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my fucking brother tattooed it on me. Uh, <laughs> speaking of shitty tattoos, not saying that we got shitty tattoos. I do. Uh, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. Fight. Yeah. Uh, I did take a... A few it, notes. It was kind of like a shitty tattoo. I, yeah. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Regrettable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I took a few notes uh, throughout. I only, well, when, well, shit, it was funny because you called me. Josh yeah. called me first, and then you texted me. <laughs> it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, got the fucking tablet thing or whatever. I didn't, the the first fight that I got to watch was the Nunez Go yeah one. Oh yeah. Was that the that was, like prelim thing? No, no. The prelims were uh I, there was I don't a know. Lot of them. I don't know. I, I don't know boxing worth a fuck. But the prelims are like, you know, they were before everybody started showing up, so I'm assuming they're yeah. semi amateur or semi pro, uh, whatever. There was a lot of fights. I didn't get to watch all of them because my kids were complaining about it. They were actually the halfway hour. decent. They were yeah. decent fights to watch for sure. Dude, um yeah, all of the fights that I watched before the fight yeah were way better than actually. Oh, yeah. oh yeah well that that uh goya one that you're talking about too mm-hmm. i Is i did do you see where he humped one? the no the two dudes oh yeah the one yeah, was indian yeah, and one was, was yeah the other one was yeah. an influencer he humped the guy that was hilarious yeah. and also that guy had moved i liked his fucking uh his dodging and his body right. was weaving yeah he was I, entertaining he was as slick. hell to watch it he was, was pretty entertaining. slick and the other guy took a fucking i mean i don't want to say beating but yeah he he got a lot of shots on him and and still stayed the, oh, yeah. uh, the whole fucking match. So I was yeah. I was rocking with the Nunez guy just because the tattoo. I didn't really know any of the history. Yeah, of Steve, of classic Stevie. Stevie's yeah. like whoever's got his face tatted, Doc. Well, the, yeah, and he was whoever's like, got shit like tats that. He spent through some shit. No, he's an influencer, <laughs> dog. He's just like fucking Jake Paul. I did not yeah. know that. Uh, let's see what else. That uh, female fight was yeah, oh the one the right bomb, dude. dude. Jesus hell. I, that was a good ass fight. My yeah. lady kept on wincing at that gal's fucking dude. That thing was eyebrow split fucking open. gash. You yeah, could see, what? you could yes. see her fucking eyebrow bone. Yeah, <laughs> dude, her gnarly. eyelid looked like it wouldn't open up all the and way. And then what? Fucking... What did you guys think after the fight was over? I I thought the cool part was uh, let's see, it would have been so Sereno. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, her coach. Was like, or whoever it was, was like, oh, they're used, or they do this all the time. Yeah, fighting dirty or whatever. And then, like, 
I think the holy. <laughs> and once again, right. once again, I don't know boxing. I'm I, beyond yeah. fucking. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But the thing from what I caught from what it looked like to me was that that gal was that uh, Serrano wasn't she southpaw, and the other chick was standard. And they both lead, kind of lead with their heads. I mean, well, the one was leading with her head for sure, but that yeah. is that but it's is also what part it is, of it. Man. And you know that you're fighting this chick. Yeah, prepare yourself true. for that yeah. shit. Well, I guess here, here's another. But thing. either way, yeah. dude, it was a fucking mon. I mean, right. really, it oh, was dude, a monumental was, fight. It was oh yeah, hard. it was oh, phenomenal yeah. to watch. It was a good fight. Well, Great fight. The the other thing too is like you know how they do like the hype up videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I guess not knowing much of like background of like these boxers and stuff you know what i mean they came out with taylor saying that uh she used to disguise herself as a male to fight in ireland yeah and then it's like you know jessica too you know what i mean like yeah. oh yeah yeah you could see it <clears throat> and it was like oh <laughs> hell yeah well i'm gonna rock with her but i was like i'm rocking with the other chick dude yeah. uh, she's the taylor chick she's from ireland <laughs> Right. Well, uh, Stevie hates the Irish, is what he said. I hate hate the fucking Irish. The Irish is bags of shit. And Connor. Bags of shite. (laughs) We'll fucking fight you for it. But that other chick could have headbutted her over and over and over again, and she would have still kept coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yep. You're not knocking that chick out. Yeah, no, she was a monster. Well, she even got. The ref even, like, said something to her. Oh, that was the other thing. When the trainer or whatever was like, oh, we need to get, like, a ref in here that knows what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I feel like they probably voted for Kamala, dude. Blame it on everybody else, not yourself. <laughs> Prepare for the fight, big dog. Uh we got to hold on. Oh, we're, we're, you we're, we're, we're gonna go. yeah. <laughs> do that sound of me, dog. Uh, I'll trip you. La- I'll you. trip you later. That dude. was not. To I'll you. trip you, big toe up. That that was to the voting for Kamala. Oh, that, that hold on. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> we're not to that yet. We'll, yeah. All right. <laughs> we're not to that one yet. We're gonna get to that. Uh, the Jake Paul and actual Tyson. Oh fight. yeah, yeah. We yeah. all know it was. It, it, Rigged? It was oh. disappointing. Yeah, very disappointing. Um, so I did not know that Jake Paul fought Anderson Silva. Oh yeah, I didn't know any of that shit either. Yeah, and then until I like, sat there and watched all word. the shit they were fucking playing. <laughs> like, like, how are you like, fighting what? these dudes? Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, guys past okay. their prime. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> their names. Because it's 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 these guys that have already made names for themselves in the fucking fighting world. Right, and it's literally yeah. two, which is why I told Kate before the fight ever happened that it was it's it's he's he's making money and also making these people money off of their names, right? You know, for sure. It's like, are are you really gonna fucking? I mean, I didn't. I don't want to say I called it because yeah. I was really hoping for Tyson to come out it, and everybody whoop was, his ass, you know. But at the same point in time, it's like, do you blame the guy though? I mean, look at what kind yeah. of money he made for losing. Well, then yeah. there was, yeah, there there was something about, like, how he paid or owed a bunch of money for taxes or whatever. So that's I why heard he something it. about that. I heard something about that, which, even if he didn't, I'm yeah. not going to blame the guy. I mean, yeah. dude, you got kids. You got a lot. You got a family. I mean, I don't want to, I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, he threw the fight. But even I, if he sort of took it easy on Jake Paul and, and kind of let it play out the way it did. Even if that's the case, I'm not saying it is, but even if it, even if he did, I mean, in a it, number one, can you blame the guy? Number two, also he, in a way, he's kind of like, hey, kind of like passing the, uh, not passing the torch as far as being the greatest fighter, oh, but I also like he's at an age, like you know what it's like when you were, as a right. when you were 20, now you're now you're 40, mm-hmm. right? There, there was a there was a fire in you to fucking do whether it was dumb shit or whatever, to fucking make a point. It's the fucking, you know what I mean? Mm. Right. And the older you get, the more you're like, this doesn't affect me like that, dog. Yeah. And number four? My pride is not in this. Like, I don't have to have pride come into this or my ego come into this. Right. What the fuck ever. You know what I mean? 
Or, you know, and I'm not saying that's the case, but maybe it is. I don't know. Dude, number four, and also, look at how many fucking people they got to watch this fucking thing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they came out on top. Oh, was dude, your guys how many fucking wagon? Oh, dude, right away. Really? Yeah, when I, when I first went, it was good the whole time. As soon as it was nine, whatever the fuck, when the fight was starting. Yeah, then it... Bam, shit started getting really all fucking weird. You know that shit lit up, right? Dude. That? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our shit, we had, we had like 30, uh, probably 30 seconds, and it was, to be honest with you, I think it was like before the, before the fight. Other than that, we were good. Right. Yeah, and that's what it was. It was 15 minutes before the fight started when, like, if you, if you went on Netflix, you could go on there and say, remind me yeah. of when that actual fight was going to start. Mm. So I assume that that's when all that oh, was. Oh, yeah. Was yeah. Everybody got reminded, oh, here's the fucking, because yep. my kids and everybody were all stoked about this fight because it's all on social media and shit, I assume is yeah. why my kids even gave a fuck. Well, that and you guys, are, your whole household is Jake, huge Jake yeah. Paul fan. Uh, Jake Paul voters. Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I figured. I, I, dude, I fucking one hundred percent thought that his brother was him. I'm like, you talking about that fucking skinny ass, tall fucking YouTube guy? Like, talking about Paul? Yeah. You talking about Paul Logan? <laughs> he's fighting. Paul fucking... Logan ain't fighting Tyson. <laughs> yeah, that's what Trust I thought. Me, I, no, I follow time, him on Instagram. The whole time I thought that shit. I'm like, oh, all right, well. And then I saw a picture. I was like, dude, that motherfucker been doing steroids like crazy. <laughs> And then oh, they showed they his brother. It was like, oh, they're fucking brothers. Yeah, dude, they're bros. That's, that's how. That's how into it. They're I both am. bros from the same so, home. Yeah. So, uh, can't forget about that dually truck that came out. And I wish Jessica. Paul Logan. I wish Jessica was yeah. in here right now, and I will put this on my motherfucking skin, my kids, everything. When that came out, I was like. I've seen that fucking truck before. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I've fucking seen that truck before. What WWE oh, match? Truck, mini yeah, truck yeah, in yeah. magazine. Oh, yeah. I thought it was from a WWE yeah. match, probably. No, huh? No, that truck, yeah. yeah. Well, you're talking about. I'll say this much, and I hate, I don't want to see, I'm not trying to skip ahead here, but when I seen it, because of who is our now president-elect, because we can do it now, Uh-oh. I yelled, Faggot at the TV. Really. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Also, I have to piss again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I fucking actually did see it in a fucking mini trucking magazine, right? And uh, <clears throat> so there's a big controversy, of course. Uh, Sean Mahaney was the one that actually built it from Crew Cut. Then apparently, um, it had went away. Ooh. Gas Monkey Garage was the last people to touch it. Really? And people are mad over the fact, which I understand. I don't know about you, but I I can never stand that guy that... Uh, the Gas Monkey guy? Yeah. Yeah. That tall fucker. If I... <clears throat> I when the first show first came out, I could deal with watching him oh, on the show. Yeah. And was like, yeah, whatever. I'd probably drink a beer with this dude. And then later as it got more popular and his head got bigger, I was mm, like, yeah. dude, I'd beat this dude's yeah, ass. Yeah. If I saw him in a bar and he was over there fucking talking shit, I'm going to try to make him <laughs> fucking, I'm going to beat that dude's yeah. ass. <laughs> it, it kind of, you know who it reminds <laughs> me of? The guy from, uh, Da, 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 counts customs. Yes. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. Sorry, listeners, if that was that, loud. Enough. Yeah, if, if you, and if you guys like these people, sorry for you. <laughs> it, it truly seems like it's just, they're like, they're not really, they don't, they're just in there telling. Right, I don't know the fucking guys. I never met them. Well, do, don't you remember uh, yeah. Matt? Yes. From, you know, when he worked at Counts Customs, mm-hmm. he's like, we can't even really do anything, and I can't post anything. and Right, and and I never meet the guy. I've yeah. never seen the fucking dude. Yeah. We work in the fucking shop, <laughs> and we fucking do stuff. 
we're the dudes that actually do the work. Mm-hmm. The people that are on the show are the ones that just are on the show. They don't actually do work. Yeah. It's sad. But yeah, it's it's all I, Who do you think would I've been win watching in a, a bunch <laughs> between the two. <laughs> The gas Between, monkey guy and the Count's Customs. Who puts out the better? Uh, Count's Custom guy's <laughs> kicking his ass. Unless he has fucking back problems. I don't know if he unless has back, back problems. Unless his back flares up again. <laughs> <laughs> but he's way fucking bigger, dude. He could grab up fucking Mr. fucking Gas Monkey. Yeah, but what if he doesn't? Yeah, but if, I'm just saying, what if he gets gassed out? He's a big I, guy. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's a lot of energy back, to move that body I don't around. know the dude. If, if I... Just going off of size, I'm going for him. But, and the fact that I'm pretty sure that Richard, Richard, Dick, or whatever you want to call him, yeah, the fucking dirt monkey, will be fucking drunk. Well, yeah. So, I mean, big, huge guy, drunk little guy. Yeah, but that, what about like, that one cool, what about, what happened to the cool dude that was on Gas Monkey, the big bearded guy? I don't know. Yes, sir, please. He was cool. I have no idea. That guy was cool. He was the coolest I part of it. I haven't watched He it was the, actually the only cool part of it. And for, like, for a long ass time. Remember when, uh, do you, are you old? You're old enough. Old, I'm old enough. To remember when Discovery Channel was just animals? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then it went to, like, well, I guess we are animals. Humans are animals, but. Yeah, yeah. Went to reality oh, yeah, before TV show it was, shit. yeah. I, oh my god! I literally, I don't know if Jesse's gonna be able to get this bike done in time. I literally appreciated <laughs> yeah. when uh, Deadliest Catch came out. That was fucking so cool when it first came out. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, how about this? Was wasn't it the History Channel that did? You know, they had they used to have cool shit. Well, you know, relatively. They still speaking. have. But cool yeah, but shit. then they went to like History Channel went to fucking Pawn Stars and shit. Right. What right, the right, fuck? Right. Well, I they, hope to God. Right. Because I used to think like, oh, it's History Channel, and also you know from because I always watched shows like National Geographic and History Channel growing up <laughs> when it was like and Discovery Channel when it was all yeah. animals and all this shit. And then I remember thinking like, okay, so History Channel obviously makes all these films. And they put it in the cool canisters. Yeah. And they they archive it somewhere in a very safe place. That was, you know, as a kid, mm-hmm. that's what I thought. And then, you know, you get older and then they start making these fucking Pawn Star TV shows or whatever yeah. the fuck. And you're like, I hope to God they're not doing what I thought they were doing with this footage. Right. So that way, if later civilizations find it, they think, yeah, they just like the pawn shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they loved no it. No shit. <laughs> right. But in reality, no, it kind of is because it was a fucking, it was a hit TV show. And of course, we're all just monkeys. They're like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> put us on, in front of a TV and show yeah. us a fucking game and we clap. Oh, yeah. What? I, I, I do. I used to like the show a bunch. It's a little fucking played out and fucking weird yeah. now. Just like every other show. But, yeah. Well, no offense, Josh, but. Hey, you're I'm one, a, of, you're I'm one fucking, of us. I'm a pawn person, dude. I like that's what I'm saying. It's fucking, like, dude, I'm just saying you're people, like a thrift store. Jesus. I know like, <laughs> hey, I know people kind look of. at us. I know people <laughs> in public look at us and they go like if, if they were asked, like, do you think those people pawn shit? And they no, like, I don't. Pawn and normal. Shit. I know, but normal people would be like, oh, yeah, they do yeah. all the time. No, I go buy <laughs> shit from pawn shops. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I'm saying <laughs> the looks of all of us. People look at us and go, oh, yeah, yeah. that's how they make their rent, dude. Well, yeah, (laughs) of course. And I used to. Oh, I've I've pawned plenty of shit. I mean, I'll be honest. I've never actually, actually pawned anything. However, I have definitely sold shit to pawn shops. I can say that I have pawned stuff, and everything that I've ever pawned was actually mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. We're better That's than the legit. other guys that pawn shit that ain't there. And I paid it off and got my shit back. I've never, <laughs> see, I've never pawned it. I've only ever sold it because I'm like, dude. <laughs> no, it was guns. Because at the time, the only thing I've at the, ever pawned at the time in my when whole I, life is But guns. at the time when I was doing that shit, when I was selling it to pawn shops, I yeah. was like, dude, I don't even have an electricity bill in my name. 
Right. I'm not paying this bill too. No, we had baby. <laughs> we had we had baby. I'm like, dude, I can't remember my own birthday. I'm not gonna remember the date that I have to fucking pay on my pawned item. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking keep it, dog. No, we had baby coming. Was like. I could pawn this gun for 300 bucks. You know what? And I'm not fucking... Here's the deal, too. Let's not shit on people that pawn yeah. stuff that they actually own. Right. Dude, we all hit hard times. Yeah. got fucking need some help. I mean... No, no. The ones that pawn shit that they stole out of somebody's garage. That's uh, the shit that's... Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, that's weird if you actually... You no, know, if they sell it, they're a bag of shit. Even shits. selling it. Stealing whatever. it. Stealing it in the first place is a bag of shit yeah. move. Selling it, still a bag of shit move. If you steal it and then pawn it, that's weird as fuck, dude. That's okay. Because now you're actually paying for the item. It's kind of a little bit of a loophole. You can fucking bounce. You can bounce around a town and pawn tons of fucking shit. No, and I get never come back no, to no, the no. town. No, 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 get no, no, that no. Little bit of money. That's sure. why people do that yeah. shit. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, I can see that. We're, we don't uh, advise anyone. We don't condone that No, that's that not fucking what you're supposed to do. That's fucking horse shit. And Here's something else. To come try Here's to something else. From my that's, place. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's something else that's pretty mind-blowing. Uh, speaking of bag of shits, I guess, but technically it's allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. The Sheldon Johnson thing. Have you heard about this? No. no. Who the fuck is I Sheldon? I don't even know. Can I Google is. it? Yep. Um, he was on Joe Rogan. He's an advocate for like injustice okay. in the criminals, or you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Sheldon, who? Uh, Johnson was on Joe Rogan. With oh, yeah, this guy that does the uh, Sheldick. Oh, yeah, the guy that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was locked up for a while. Yeah, got out on uh, the innocent pro- innocence project. Yeah. It? yeah. And then it was, wasn't was too long after he was on Rogan's show, went and chopped this dude up. Yeah, dismembered him and beheaded him. And still, it is allegedly. Because it's I, allegedly, I, yeah. Allegedly. I looked today before... I mean, because so many people listen to this show. Yeah. We don't want to get yeah. the wrong word right. out. Yeah, so, yeah obviously, wanna, dude. I, I got something else about wrong word, too, <laughs> after that. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, there is, like, photos and shit. And yeah. Well, he's on video, like, with a shitty wig on or some shit, yep. wasn't it? And then... Uh, Weird. They I don't found, watch any of this shit. They found uh, the victim's legs... In his apartment. What? And supposedly, it's from someone that did him wrong in prison. Allegedly. But he's on trial. Uh, He has been indicted. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. (laughs) Which is wild to keep the legs. Which is wild to... uh, 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 Our our justice system is... Yeah. It's weird to me. Well, the, the, we'll fucking go for the, three the weeks. The crazy and thing is, is jack he around has been. with some shit. It's like, dude, it was like the whole um, Jeffrey Dahmer thing. Well, why screw around in trial and shit, dude? Fucking, we know he did it. Yeah. It's, oh, for sure. For sure. It. The crazy thing is, is that, uh, you know, he was an advocate for, right. you know, and. I mean, I guess it, it, you well, can't really expect anything. Well, yeah. No, no, He no, was locked. The, his first crime that he got locked up for was he was sentenced to a stupid amount of time. Like, it was something dumb. And he got, like, 40 years, and he had served, like, 20 of them. And I don't remember what the initial crime was, but it was it was a ridiculous amount of time for that first one. Then he spends 20 years in there, gets released early because, you know, these, uh, yeah, the help okay. from this, the, these people... And then he goes and does some shit like that. And it does, it does, trust me, if he did it, obviously, yeah, right. lock the fucker right. up. Right. But it does beg the question, does locking someone up for an insane amount of time to begin with for some menial crime, Well, yeah. does that have an effect on someone's sight? It has to have an effect oh, on someone's sight. 100%. Psyche. 100%. You know? Dude, you Especially when you put when you Stevie put someone can, who hey, listen, here's the deal. Especially when you put people who are drug dealers. Let's let's say they're a small time drug dealer, right? Small time right. drug dealer. Yeah, yeah. 
and you're going to lock them up, give them 20 years, and put them right next to people who oh, fucking yeah. rape and murder people. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, dude, that guy was doing something that people asked him for. You ask right. somebody for drugs. You don't right. ask to be murdered or raped. Right. You know what I mean? Sure. 100%. And then you think that that doesn't do something to these people's psyche and probably yeah. makes them a more violent and more criminal person? I mean, come on, dude. 100%. I'm not saying it justifies if this guy did it. I'm not saying it justified yeah. it. but No, no. I, I mean, fu- it depends on where the starting line's at. Well, here's the other thing, too. Like, I guess I didn't really dig too far deep into it. No, we like, never do on the show. No, that's right. It's not our thing. <laughs> we want to make we, flash decisions. We we are professionals. Uh, Here, <laughs> don't try this at home. We are nice people, yeah. Uh, speaking of things that people don't dig into very mm. far. Ooh. Cowboy State Daily. We're going to get into some Wyoming stuff. Is bungholes on there? Uh, Cowboy State Daily, they had posted, it may sound like the perfect way to get away with murder. Kill someone and then stage it as a bear attack. It has been tried twice in the last month. Hmm. One in Montana and one in Tennessee. Law enforcement officials say it's a really bad strategy. All right. I know. I don't know. The I, fucking I, I, guy I in Montana turned okay. himself in. I, the I only know, way they caught him. I know that our um, listeners can't really see the picture or anything, but there's a bear costume that's on there. Yeah. Okay. A few days prior to this, I had seen an article. Someone had put on themselves a bear costume and made false alle- insurance allegations. Just to get uh, insurance money for their vehicle. Like a husband There's, attacked <clears throat> his wife? No, 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 no. There's video footage. <laughs> Dude in the, whoever, in the bear costume, yeah, yeah. crawls into the car, fucking da, 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 this and that. And then I seen that, and I'm like, no. What the? F-? So I commented on it. I probably That's crazy. Enough, but yeah, but I'm like, that is not... A picture from somebody trying to murder somebody. Yeah. Has yeah. anybody costume. ever seen what a real bear looks like? I know well, that's the other thing, dude. Like, I got two comments though on this. I got two. Number one, fuck those insurance companies. Mm-hmm. Fuck them, anyways. Number two, fucking. <laughs> yeah. Why would you want to? I don't know. Don't go murdering people first off. Number two is like, um, fuck those insurance companies, dude. dog. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> You're not a bear, bro. Yeah. yeah. Don't pretend to be a bear. You're not, not a, a fucking good. bear. Speaking of other, dude, dude I had this like, crazy, don't even look like I had a bear. this crazy 140 pound bear. You know what I mean? Like, that's a hey. weird thing. Like, look at this bear with a lot of saggy skin on it. Dude. <laughs> that weighs 150 pounds trying to attack my car. Yeah. Why does and his he, arms move like he's a fucking... Yeah. Ape? Well, they, like, showed pictures of, like, inside the vehicle, too, and it's like, uh, if that was a real bear... Yeah. Mother... <laughs> it's like, dude, one of the... F- two of the vent fucking covers were ripped off. Uh, there was, was like a hole a in one of my seats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like, dude, bears can pry your fucking door open yeah. while it's locked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. A fucking 800-pound <laughs> grizzly will fuck your... Whole day up. Probably yeah. part of next week. Your fucking Prius is done for. Yeah. <laughs> so, other dumb Wyoming stuff. Like, you have, oh, look at this you foam. You'd have cooler. better luck trying to set your car on fire yeah. than saying it wasn't you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then saying, then dressing up in a bear costume, getting it on camera somehow, and saying, yeah, dude, this is fuck crazy, that bear. bear and the cat. insurance adjuster going, it's pretty wild how that bear is also kind of like the size of a man, though, huh? <laughs> and he yeah. speaks English. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, it's weird how that bear yelled, fuck. Yeah. He speaks cursive. Ow! When he heard his he paw, when he when he heard his paw the on the driver's wheel when it <laughs> yeah. got caught in it. <laughs> While he was fucking doing a burnout. Yeah. Going to get a four. It's also <laughs> weird how he pulled a human penis out of his fucking shorts, <laughs> yeah. too, ain't it? <laughs> he's got an only yeah and jizzed on the fucking steering wheel and said fuck my wife piss break <laughs> don't film yeah. uh the other i 
So I'll try to look at what the weather is, you know, according to Google type shit. Da 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 da. And uh, you know, when you Google stuff, there'll be other like crazy suggestion, yeah, type things. Mm-hmm. Can you drink tap water in Casper, Wyoming? Um, our drinking water is safe. Look up Mills. Does it say what's it say about Mills? Mills is terrible. I know. Casper has an ins- dude. When I turn on my fucking bathroom sink, it's, it stinks like chlorine. It smells okay. like somebody turned on a pool in my house. That's we have lots of old pipes, man. Yeah. Just dump more chlorine in it, dog. Yeah. Get her done. Uh, Let them drink it. They'll yeah. figure it'll it filter, out when they die. They'll filter out through all the pipes. How as about this? Isn't this a crazy idea, though? When it comes to drinking water, how about don't put shit in my water? <laughs> God, I love that. It couldn't so. go through pipes. <laughs> yeah, because there's poop in it. But <laughs> uh, they they have to put shit in our water. Well, Josh is a fucking goddamn company man when it comes to the city. I don't know what it <laughs> is about. <him. laughs> Yeah. yeah, something like that. Did you guys know that water can hold memory? Um, in which way? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've not tried this out, but apparently, if you take a pitcher of water, take the water, freeze it, it will stay the same shape as the pitcher. Yep. Do you have to show it the, well, the yeah. picture while it yep. freezes? Oh, yep. Thank you. Yep, I forgot about that. <clears throat> well, it makes sense, dude. Isn't our body like 70% water, dog? Yeah. Or 80? I, I guess picture. I don't yeah, take a picture of it you with said your fucking, phone. thought you said fucking pitcher. Oh. I'm like, well, yeah, dude, if you put water in How the pitcher. How else do you put in the freezer, <laughs> freeze dog? it. It's going to be the same fucking shape <laughs> as a pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, dude, that's so, fucking, yeah. that's, Yeah. Yeah, it, was, it was kind of mind blowing when I like you know heard a that or picture? whatever. I even tried it out. Yep, really. Take a picture on your phone of water and then freeze it, and then it will. Did you try it out? There. Not yet. You put the. Uh, I was gonna say, <clears throat> are you gonna put your phone in the freezer? No. Well, how are you gonna, you got to print it out? No, I guess so. You'd have to print print the picture out then. You take a picture of the water. Yep, a picture of flip, the water. Flip your phone around. And then show it that picture. Show the water the picture. Apparently. Of itself, yeah. The Apparently. selfie of the water. Yeah. And then when you freeze it, it, it's the same. It's like a picture of your phone. Did they put a it, line? It looks, it looks exactly the same as what the picture looked like. <laughs> I, I haven't tried it out. I All right, tried listen. It out. But here's the other thing. So, once again, shout out to No Jumpers Podcast, because they are like... Some of these theories are very interesting to me. You know what I mean? That's why I share them with you guys. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's another one where they would uh, show it like a word, and it was schizophrenia. And when they froze it, there was a dude with two faces. What? In the frozen water. I haven't Googled it yet. I'll I'm say this much. Confused is what I'm going to say. I'll say this much. I don't know about the faces part, but maybe, like, but if I not show really, water because when water freezes, it expands. So unless you have a line on the cup that you're freezing water in, show where the level's at. I mean, how are they doing it? That's what I'm curious about. Josh, you're the man of science here. I'm trying to think. That's why I haven't said shit. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about this. I mean, it makes you think, you know what I mean? Dude, I can show a picture of anything to water. I wonder if I show my and what is it? I wonder if I show my dick a picture of a bigger dick. Change. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I fucking googled freeze water. Take a. <laughs> Why don't you Google <laughs> water memory? Yeah, or some shit. Water memory Pot- picture. Skip so- fucking water. Uh, Picture water. <clears throat> Take a picture of your water. Water, memory, picture, schizophrenia, two faces. Ooh, that's got to get her done. It's got to get her done. Yep. 
Is the experiment repl- replicable, though? I don't know. I mean, there are... Oh, here's one with a bird. That makes sense. Birds usually have schizophrenia. Mm. 100%. 100%. Are, I mean, you definitely bir- going to have to try it out. You know what I mean? I guess. We take a picture. Do it scientifically. So, <clears throat> yeah. And so just we take a picture. True. I'll have my kids do that. And you'll have to do three different glasses of water, at least. Right. Scientific. To, to The scientific you, process. You, can't, you cannot build a thesis yeah. or a... Yep. Yeah. Keep going. Um, you got not it. a thesis. Yes. That's thesis. fucking English. A thesis would be no, correct. No. A presumption. I can't think of the word. Science. Josh. You can't build a whatever. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. Mm. Without having. Yeah. Well, there you go. Good job, without Jake. You heard it here first. <laughs> That's <laughs> Hypothesis. the fucking one I was looking for. <laughs> Hypothesis. You, Ooh. You gotta Almost have a five dollar word. Yeah, you can't, Almost a five dollar word. Yeah. You can't build a hypothesis without I tried four to add syllables. an is on the end just to make it a five dollar <laughs> hypothesis. Five dollar word. It, well, almost it's four. Almost. Yeah, it's more like a four dollar word, which four is basically a, a two dollar word, which is garbage. You get an extra fifty because of the two S's. Well, I tried. <laughs> Uh, I, if you had a lisp, you'd get 500. Well, water could... Here's the deal. Says. Water could have a fucking memory. You never know. Are we not all made up... Both humans, plants, and animals, and water? All I made up know. of mostly water and all made up of the same cells? What's the most... We're just different mutations of the same cells? Isn't that what it is? What's the so, smartest, most unexpected animal on the planet? Or un... A vulture. Known... Unknown animal? Yeah, like we don't know why it's so fucking cool and smart. Well, Dolphins. we're all sitting next to each other. Dolphins. No. <laughs> Isles. <laughs> Octopussy. Octopi. Is it octopi? It's octopussy. It ain't that, dude. Yeah. If there's more than Octopus one, pretty it's cool. octopussy. Do you guys think that they're the do you guys think that the alien that aliens are in the ocean? Do you no, think that's their My point was they live in the water. That's why they're so smart. USOs. I mean, it's possible. Unidentified submer- submerged objects. Objects? Whatever. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, I think. I mean, octopuses can figure out, or octopi, whatever. Yeah. Octopussies. Can, liar. Thanks. Can figure out, like, mazes and shit. They can change shapes. Yeah. And, si- and like, colors and all that shit. It makes you wonder. Well, dolphin, just, yeah. dolphin <laughs> language, we have not, we have yet to figure out, but we know they're smart as fuck. Maybe yeah. it's because they live in water. Well, the other thing, but too, is like with we all the technology that we have nowadays, you can't tell me that they, you know what I mean? Just like that, uh, what was it, Xbox controller submarine. Yeah. You know well, what I, mean? I like, also uh, think there's a big like, disconnect <clears throat> with, uh, that's the thing, though, how too. How come is we like, don't explore Think it. of it this way. All the, like, the shit that we have as as civilians, governments have had probably 30 years prior. Oh yeah, just didn't mm-hmm. release it. Yeah, we're on five G. So they're we don't. On 10. We don't. We don't know where we're at yet. Yeah, they got ten G. But also, I th- I think there is probably a pro- like if you're going to talk about five G and shit and Wi Fi signals and all this stuff, it oh, disrupts yeah. human frequency. Like everything that's living has a frequency, a natural frequency. Humans are just the ones that. Decide to surround ourselves with it, and we function. We all function off of ten G. They figured it out. Well, that's another. They're going to be able like, to start. Well, controlling I, us. I think it soon. disrupts our our systems more than we might have the technology, but I think it disrupts our systems. Where is this Wi Fi? Everywhere. It's in my brain, bro. You, you know, know they've. I, mean? I actually. Hey, look in. <laughs> look into this one of these days. Uh, if Wi Fi signals affect. Humans, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's and what if I'm, you dig a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. They're it gonna does. Be able to control it, us. It does at some point by satellite. <laughs> like, it disrupts your ten G. Uh, it disrupts your shit, dude. Mm-hmm. It, it does. It's actually there's been studies that show that it does. Yeah. Neurological development, all this shit. It's pretty wild, but we won't get away from it because guess what. That one show on Netflix is really, really good. I like but it. But is it really good, um, or does it? do you think it's really good because of an outside factor? Well, here's another thing, too. 
God, I love how this show fucking works. Our brains work so good together. So Netflix is pretty much taking over the fucking world. Mm -hmm. They got football. Football! Christmas. Christmas Day, they're going to have their very first live football game. The WWE is coming to Netflix. What? What else? They're making too much money. (laughs) Well, yeah. Well, it, it, if you think about the evolution of all that bullshit, it was bound ah, very, to be that way. Ah, very true. The fucking because Netflix was like the fucking everything's been going to. Yeah, but isn't that. it wild though that that like even cable companies now are like, hey, we have this streaming shit. Please don't get rid of us. We'll give you all of the channels. Streaming. The fuck are you talking about? Nobody has fucking cable anymore, though. I'm just saying, if you go to the (laughs) S word, anyways, like I was saying, like like, I was saying, you guys, they're like, hey, hey." like I was saying, (laughs) listen, it's wild that we went from cable and then we went to streaming, you know, basically, right? And streaming now is the new cable. Yeah, you still get commercials in a lot of it, and if you don't get commercials, you get a fuck ton of shitty fucking movies that you don't want. And also, dude, half the fuck... I got Netflix not that long ago because we had the Hulu and and some other shit. You go to documentaries, there's not really any new documentaries. Oh, yeah. They have the same shit the other ones have. There's three guys sitting in a fucking room somewhere. Stroking each other off. And the one guy is Cable. The one guy is internet. No one has cable anymore. Dude, I'm telling you, they're like, (laughs) No one. No, they're like, dude, hey, if you want to get fucking internet, you got to go through the cable company. That's because those two jerked each other off. And then there's the fucking streaming guy is like, hey, I want to be in here too. Sure. uh, Well, we'll throw you in the circle too. Have you heard of the, you ever heard of the fuck, have you heard this fucking lead paint deal? (laughs) That you're not supposed to snort it? No, listen to me. Oh. There's with with all this Wi Fi shit and, and all the fucking fiber opti- optic cable. Mm-hmm. So you, we've all heard the shit. Kids eating lead paint, right? Right. This is before our generation, really. I mean, as far as the, the, the cue to try and like get rid of lead paint. Right. But it was actually good for us. No, here's the deal. Oh. It's like they wanted to get rid of lead paint. What, 50 years ago, 40 years ago? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Get rid of lead paint. And a big thing they spread or they that everybody's always said is like, kids eat it. Kids eat lead paint chips. It's bad for them. Blah, blah. I've never, in my almost 40 years of being alive, have literally never met a kid that ate paint. I've never ate a paint chip. Yeah. So, but the thing is, is like, so radio waves... Radioactive waves, what blocks them? Lead. Yeah. So if you have lead paint in your house, it would block. And what what can they do with fucking fiber optic cable, cables and Wi-Fi signals is they can map your entire home if they want to. Oh, yeah. Then going up so if you have lead paint, they wouldn't be able to do that. So let's start lead paint in our houses? No. Well, you, if you can <laughs> find it. Hey, dude. Can't get a hold of it. I can make some. I mean, paint. there might be enough lead and heavy metals hey, in your water to make let's it happen. Start making lead paint. You know, dude, uh, it's a wild idea. I know it sounds dude. crazy, but we also should it start does a make fucking, a little bit of sense. We should start a religion with what? lead paint. Yeah, yeah. Here goes, here goes Josh with his fucking mm-hmm. new religion. I was sent here from above, Jehovah, to tell all you guys. That we need to paint our houses with lead paint. And we should all live somewhere on a big piece of land and start. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm over. I'm over living here. Not in this house. Heard that. Uh, I, I just, I don't like people walking around my home. I am, <clears throat> I come from a Oh, fucking, you mean this area? Yeah. Well, Wyoming in general. Oh, Wyoming in yeah. general? Uh, hmm. But. I love living there. But yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, you always hear, yeah. I'm just, I'm over it. You hear yeah. people gabbing as they're walking by. Uh, fucking the trash can fucking closing at 
like slamming shut at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's I'm yeah. not strapped up. That's I don't know what's not a Wyoming is. thing. That's just these fucking guys. That's just living around the world, I guess. <laughs> oh. When you have neighbors, I guess. But I do hear you because I'm fucking dude. I'm at the point now in my neighborhood. I get fucking agitated. Like our windows are dog shit, right? Okay. A lot of sound gets in and out of them. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, you just don't want people here and you beat your old lady. <laughs> yes, but also no. No, if somebody's fucking has company over, a, a regular door shut sounds like somebody slamming the fucking door. I'm like, who the fuck slamming my goddamn doors around here? Mm. Like, it fucking bothers me. It does. But you could also have. Well, and you know what's fucked up is like, I think this is what bothers me about it. Not that I, not that I need any more friends. Not that I want any more friends, but it's like, you know, you hear, well, I remember being a kid, dude, being a kid back home. We knew all of our neighbors, like within, oh, like yeah. on that block. And so it wasn't a big deal. But like nowadays it's like, dude, if you do get out of your car or whatever, you know, after work, you get out of your truck and they're, you know, your neighbors getting out of their truck or whatever, like they avoid, avoid you at all costs, which like, dude, I don't want to be best friends, but it's like. It's not an issue if I know you, like, yeah. a little bit. Like, if you're a nice person, it's like, oh, like I know you're not a shit bag. Right. But it's like, <clears throat> if I'm used to going to bed uh, around fucking 8, 8.30 or whatever, right. and it's 9, and somebody, slam- somebody slams a car door shut, and I'm like, this bag of shit, because I don't know you? I don't know, man. Just What just, happened to being neighborly, anyways? Well, what happened to that? Just think about trying to... Go somewhere else is my point. Is why I say, like, I yeah, say assholes that are Casper, everywhere. We all Wyoming know that. Is but... fucking downhill from everywhere for me is because everywhere I've fucking been, little town, there's big all town, assholes, middle yes. town. There's assholes everywhere you go. We know that. Well, my point is, what's your point? It, it, there's people are so fucking different and and it's like the grass is greener on the other side kind of a fucking thing you never know till you fucking go do it oh yeah you you can well, I've already say lived, well fuck this sucks I've already lived well, there yeah, a yeah. few times yeah no i know but I, I mean like i hear like my daughter is just an example i want to go live in like um seattle oh yeah I get she's a teenager. I yeah, remember but, being a teenager, and I was stoked that I went to go live in Phoenix. It was like, it's a fucking city. I'm going to go party, and yeah. there's real shit going on. And as soon as I had to get a job and was an adult, it was like, I'm this fucking sucks. going back to Wyoming, yeah. dude. Everybody's pissed off. Everybody's a fucking asshole. You don't <coughs> fucking meet people unless they're all fake and they act. Yeah, it's not as bad as it could be. It's like, I don't know. I I never met real people like I meet in Wyoming anywhere else in my life. Yeah. Well, most of the good people that I meet in in Casper, Wyoming, are from elsewhere. Most of them. Yeah, Yeah, I was born and raised here, but. Well, I also think you are a cocksucker. I'm kidding. Well, that's I love you, Jerry. You come from a different cloth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I try, dude. I, I, I just think there, there's. I think Casper is getting a a different. It's starting to get a disconnect too, though. Oh, in the, in the sense of, right. uh, and by disconnect, well, I mean. And I don't hold on. By disconnect, I do mean. I mean, because from when I moved here seventeen years ago, eighteen years ago now, right? There, there was a huge difference in the way that people interact with each other as opposed to now. Oh yeah. Yeah, like for sure. it, uh, there's a definitely a disconnect in class around here these days. It seems like, you know what I mean. There's no hundred percent, and I get it that bars are kind of going out of. I, I don't want to say style, but I will for lack of a better term. But like, mm. it used to be you'd go out to a bar, and it was like, these are the bars, and it was a whole mix of people, right? Like yeah. class wise, yeah. and everybody seemed to, for the most get part, along. get along, right? And now it's like, no, it's where you hang out at. How you talk, yep. how you, and I don't go out much at it's, all anymore, but it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's that fucking thing right there that made everything weird and different. Well, and also Zen? it's like, no, the phone, <laughs> the fucking phone. I, I think that does have something to do with it, but I also think that it has, there's a, 
I really do think it's a disparity in in social in class. Well, financially, yeah. okay. In uh, my thing, and don't is, get me wrong, I think that that's the natural order of things to a degree. Right, I really do. And but, my thing's not really so much the people. My thing is the lack of people, and that's what I fucking dig about it. And going to a tiny little place. It ain't a tiny little place that every fucking person knows your fucking how your fucking asshole smells. Right. Okay. Hold on though, because I gotta fucking. I'll agree with you on that. The only difference is, and this is coming from an outsider's perspective, is that Casper is still like just a really big fucking high school when if it comes you, to adults. If, if you it, put yourself yeah. in the places. To well, fucking be. You don't have those. to put yourself. Well, hey, anywhere. welcome to Three Wheel right. Bicycle Podcast. Now we're right. arguing yeah. over fucking our local town. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fuck it, move on. <laughs> no, for real, but that's no, but that but, works. Uh, nobody exactly fucking what knows me. Well, <laughs> they they do because you're on like the podcast. I know, thing, but you know? I mean, like, and, I'm just saying, like, walking mm-hmm. around, nobody like, hey, fucking it's you. Well, the shitty part. Well, it's not. Well, it is very shitty. Uh and this is how I feel when I shout out or right. refer other uh, businesses or whatever. Um, I have gotten work from them in any way, shape, or form. Okay. But what I'm seeing, it's like, you know, if you go to like a different bar or something or support a different genre of fucking music. You know what I mean? It's like, Ooh, you're going right. there. Right. Oh, I thought you were, you know? Yeah. Oh, you just had people that were heavy metal on your show. And now you're doing hip hop and like, yeah. Anyway. Well, that's but, how we but, roll. But, but it's very, but it, it, yeah. it, it is very judgy. And, and I feel that since like the podcast thing, you know what I mean? And then like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. But well, I think, I think Josh is right though. A lot of it comes from, a lot of it comes from the phones because, and social media, because you can hate somebody without even knowing them. Oh, for sure. I've been guilty of it too. Right. Yeah. Uh, but then you meet somebody face to face and you have a conversation with them, even a little one. It's like, ah, fuck, they're not that bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, shit, it even, it's even happened to me when it's people that I've met and hung out with in person. Up. I got Our microphones can... <laughs> I got to stand up a little bit. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, yeah. dude, you can have a conversation. It, it can be somebody that I've met before and had a conversation with, and it's, you know, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, they're cool, and then years later, you know, years without seeing them, and then... And then uh, you know, you see some shit they post on Facebook, and it's it's dumb shit that you don't agree with, and you're like, "Ah, this person fucking sucks." Yeah, ain't it? And then you see them again, and you're like, "Ah, they don't suck, dude." Yeah, they just have a belief that's different than mine. I think that's one of the things too, because like when you see shit like that, you you may read something somebody posts and disagree with it, and you're like, "That's fucking dumb." Mm. You know what I mean? And then you get in your head about them instead of yourself. And it makes you hate them more than you ever should. Cause if they said it to your face, you'd be like, well, I don't know about that. And it's whatever it's in passing. You know, it's, you just keep talking about the next yeah. thing. I don't know. That made, it's, that may have made no sense at all. No, it makes sense. <laughs> also, that's another thing. I think people should judge themselves a little bit more. Yeah. Look inside a little bit more, dude. Well, not you. There is a, the, not, yeah, there is hey, a war going on outside. <laughs> There's a war going on outside. Not really, dude. Isn't that crazy that everybody fucking gets up in arms about things? Oh, most definitely. On the internet, and then you go outside and you walk around your town a little, just a little bit. Yeah. And you're like, huh, things seem to be not that, not that terrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, the other thing, too, is like, I don't know, man. It's like, yeah. The way the way that I've seen, like, some people, like, look at me. Well, you have tattoos, or, dude. Or, well, I, I, and I always feel like some of it's because of, like, the podcast or fucking, I don't know how to explain it, dude. 
It's mostly because you look like a bag of shit. Ju- judgmental. <laughs> I just think everybody's always judgmental, and I will always defend mine. And well, yeah, I don't know. Everyone's like, judgmental, dude. <laughs> I mean, we are. I forgot where I was. I see people that. dressed a certain way. I'm like, this dude's a cunt, ain't it? Yeah. He, yes. Everybody in the whole f- being judgmental is everybody could say that they're not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you fucking are. You are. There and is also, no fucking way that you're not. No there's a certain person. amount of being judgmental that's healthy. Right. That, you know what I mean? Yeah, being exactly. a dick and being judgmental a little bit is to yourself. Being judgmental to yourself is different than being judgmental outwardly. Well, it depends on how you do it. Listen, everything within moderation, huh? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Saying, yes. 100%. 100%. Keep it hundred. Uh, one hundred. Excuse me. For the kids. For the kids. Keep it hundred. Hundred. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thanksgiving. We got Ooh. Thanksgiving coming up. Thanksgiving. Uh, That's a good guy. We like Thanksgiving. Got to give a shout out to John Schneider. He's been a part of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only guy to comment on our Facebook. Hell yeah. Which one? Of the dishes, would you take out? He said turkey. Take out the turkey? Yep. Like, no turkey? Well. Depends on how it's cooked and who cooks it, because a lot of times it ends up being a dry bird. Yep. Dude, even if it's a dry bird, I can't have next day fucking Thanksgiving sandwich without some fucking turkey on it. That's true. I well, wouldn't be taking out the turkey, I'll tell you that much. What dish would you take out? My dish, and I don't know if we're going to call it a dish. Dude, cranberry sauce? Ooh. Get out of town, dog. What? You don't like the cranberry? Sorry. What's Sorry, the point had, of fucking cranberry sauce, dude? Um, I don't... Do people put it on turkey or what? I, no, I... I don't I it get it either. Like a, it's just a dish. I don't it's, know what it is. I just remember. I, I don't like it. Either. I think it and was it a be fucking like homemade. I believe. Yeah, we always got ours out of the can. I believe it was a Most fucking um, when everybody was poor. That's when it fucking uh, came out. Got oh, gotcha. Who the fuck eats <clears throat> cranberry, dude? Have you ever like picked a cranberry? Yeah, dude. That, yeah, it's that's fucking gross. They're yeah. gross. <laughs> you don't like them. No, cranberries oh, are acid. It's like, oh, you suck on a battery. <laughs> mm, it tastes delicious. No, I don't. <laughs> See, that's why you don't like hot food. Can't deal with it. No, I, I kind of, I've been, uh, dude, my fucking taste been changing. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been eating spicy shit lately. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, I would say. Oh, you can layer it with stuffing or and turkey. Yeah. Fuck off with yeah. cranberry Yeah, don't sauce, put dude. your fucking cranberry in my stuffing, dude. <laughs> it's like that fucking... What's that? What's the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where he orders a fucking... Wolf cran- of Wall Street. Vodka and cranberry. It's like a mob movie. And the guy's like, what are you on, your fucking period? Uh, uh, I know. Yeah. You're talking about the town. Is that it? I think so. Either way. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, dude, I'll just. You don't like cranberry juice every now and again? I'll eat, I'll, I'll eat cranberry juice. Okay. Cranberry juice is a. I'll smoke it. Oh, wait, too. wait a minute. No, yeah, no, I'll no. smoke cranberry no. juice, but I ain't so, fucking eating it. Dude. Stevie, you will Not drink. sauce for You will drink cranberry juice? Oh, yeah. And you will drink All cranberry day. juice. Mm-hmm. Now, have either of you had 100% no concentrate? No sugar, fucking straight up cranberry juice. Oh, the shit that dries your mouth out the somehow, but it's fucking, liquid. Dude, it like makes yeah. you feel like you yeah. will fucking have a lightning <laughs> bolt hit you. Yeah. You just turn into a battery. Yeah. And like your mouth gets really drier crazy. than the Sahara Desert. Yeah. You've had that before? Yeah, it's fucking like the disgusting. real shit? Yeah. Okay. It's also disgusting. <laughs> but I'd rather drink that than fucking eat cranberry sauce, dude. Like what? Get out of here with that Not dog me. shit. Sweet potatoes. I'd say sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah. I don't like I, sweet potatoes neither, dude. Dude, Annette's <laughs> sweet potatoes are good as fuck. They, does she put marshmallows? I don't. Yeah. I, that's another she, thing well, I don't she does get. Marshmallows and like fucking pecans and. See, and that's it. Dude, she makes you're it driving like me up dessert, with this because bro. here's the deal. She makes I don't it like understand dessert. it. Give me potatoes or give me dessert. Number one. Number two, I the pecan thing, I'm sure it tastes great, 
Never tried it, but I will say this much. Same reason I don't like almond sliced almonds on my fucking salads. I don't like. Don't give me those two different textures. I don't need it. You're not a. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have mushy, mushy and hard. Yeah, I don't need it. No, the pecans (laughs) after they're baked. That's why she puts pecans on there is because they're squishy. Pecan. They're not all fucking hard and crunchy. Well, that's the thing too is I like I love pecan pie. Right. Then don't put. I, I don't know. It, it's pretty much. It, I also she, don't understand sweet much, potatoes. I don't like yeah. sweet potato fries. I don't like. Yeah. I don't do the fries and shit either. I don't do sweet right. potatoes. But I, you know what? I do like sweet potatoes. See, I've never liked them. Maybe, but, but also, but I like, it's like, been it's been years since I've tried sweet potatoes, and I was a completely different guy three years ago. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe. See, maybe shit, I like them. Shit, but I like sweet potatoes with salt on them. Well, I mean, anything's good with salt. Like on, sea so. salt? Well, not anything, but. Right, well, whatever. Like Annette's sweet potato yeah. stuff she makes. Yeah. I her her put a sweet bunch of potatoes salt on are an exception. They're to that fucking delicious. Dude, we're going to have to start calling Annette <laughs> sweet potato Annette. Sweet, sweet tater Annette. Sweet potato Annette. No, just sweet potato Annette. Sweet potato Annette. Sweet potato Annette. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look it. It's Annette. <laughs> sweet taters. Hey, hey. That's what that... <laughs> Annette got got them sweet taters now. You guys were talking about that old Josh. house. And that reminded me of that picture I still have Josh. on my fucking phone. Period. Period. Of any Annette. holiday, any holiday, you got to you gotta come in first and go, Hey, hey Annette's got them sweet taters now. <laughs> she got them sweet taters. You ain't never had no sweet taters like Annette's sweet taters. Oh my sweet tater! Hey, remember Matt. why? <laughs> <laughs> I got I got something to show you guys. Have you met my wife and her sweet potatoes? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're good as hell. Yeah, they are. Oh, 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 and fucking deviled eggs. How am I gonna mix them two? Oh, deviled eggs, egg tater. I'm gonna call her egg tater. I'll tell you this much. I was hoping you guys would bring up fucking deviled eggs. And it's deviled eggs are pretty fucking good. Well, I'm going to tell you this much. The other night for the fights, yeah, Kate decided she was like, she's going to go up to fucking Albertsons real quick and she's going to get us, uh, you know, just one of them cheese dick fucking uh, meat and Flatter. cheese trays or whatever, yeah, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and she, she hates veggies for the most part, but she's like, Would, do you want a veggie? I'm like, if they got a small one, give me a veggie. You know what I mean? Peppers is... Well, she goes up there, right? She comes back. And she's got... I can see in the bag the fucking meat and cheese tray. And then she got another bag with a round deal, like a good size round deal in it. I'm going to have to turn that heater on. And I immediately go, like, you know... And Stevie knows this feeling. I don't know how you feel, but... A round tray with goods in it from Mm -hmm. Albertsons. My brain goes... oh. They didn't have a small veggie tray, so did she get me fucking scramps, dude? A little bit of shrimp, <laughs> you know? Right. right. And she goes, yeah, with the cocktail sauce. Yeah. In the so middle? she goes in the kitchen. She goes, I fucking, I seen it. They didn't have a small veggie tray. I seen it. I figured I had to get it. And she comes out with this thing, and I'm thinking it's shrimp, you know? Yeah. Nah, dog. No, it's veggie dip. No. It's fucking this thing. This this big. With goddamn deviled eggs in it. So, my heart drops because I'm like, that sucks. They don't want to shrimp now. (laughs) But but I was like, but I was also like, but I like deviled eggs. So, fucking. Right. She brings over. I ate one of them fuckers. Ugh. It was store deviled eggs. Yeah, dude. Store deviled eggs. Suck a fucking peener, dude. I don't know if I've ever had one. but They're terrible. They had like a weird, like, not. It was like almost like a, it was like the wrong type of sweet taste to something yeah. that shouldn't be sweet. Yeah, I hear you. Like Ugh, they put, they put so fucking, disgusting. They put uh, instead of dill relish, they put that fucking sweet Ugh. dill relish. I don't like my deviled eggs sweet. I like them all salty and shit. Oh, dude, With savory is the way to go. Yeah. With bacon. Yeah, a little bit of cheese. Dude, and I'll take some dill, bit dog. Of cheese on top. Give me some dill, big dog. Hell yeah, I like me some dill. Can Dude. you deal with it? Hey, hey, 
You get you get fucking tomato soup out the can. Uh huh. You do it with heavy cream instead of milk. How it says to add water. Yeah. And then put fucking fresh chopped up dill and garlic in there. Bro. He says. Bro. 